In this channel, we usually discuss theories, rumors and updates on superhero movies and TV shows. But today I am going to talk about something very unique and something which is very special and close to my heart. I do not know how many people here are fans of anime. To be precise, I personally have seen like only 4 or 5 anime movies at the most. But the one which is closest to my heart and I am going to focus in this video is called The Legend of Prince Rama. Now this is special to me for two reasons. First is obviously because I am an Indian and I follow Hinduism. So this movie is very close to me personally. And this movie released even before I was born back in 1992. I was probably only 5 or 6 years old when I first saw it as a child and I enjoyed this movie as much as I used to enjoy any superhero movie of Batman, Spider-Man or Superman. As a small child, this animated movie was nothing less than an entertaining superhero movie with characters from Hindu mythology of whom I heard from my mother and saw their statues in temples across my town. At this point I want to reveal that this movie is an animated adaptation of one of the most epic tale of not only Hinduism but in the overall history of literature, Ramayana. Before I go further, I just want to make a small request. Talking about comic book movies, games and TV shows is my biggest passion. If you want me to continue doing this, I just want you to do me a small favor. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. Okay so let us get back to the topic. Let me give you a brief background of the movie itself. Yugo Sako, a Japanese film director, screenwriter, and producer, came to India while he was working on the documentary film, The Ramayana Relics based on excavations by famous archaeologist, Dr. B. B. Lal in Ayodhya. He liked the epic tale of Ramayana so much that he read all the 10 different versions translated in Japanese. He came up with the idea of creating a movie based on it. Since he thought that no actor could do justice to the role of Rama, an anime series based on the story of Ramayana was ideated. Personally I feel that, Ramayana is one of the greatest and most epic historical tale to be ever told in history of humankind. According to me, this epic tale embodies victory of good over evil. It shows the power of love and how love can defeat any form of evil and hatred. In my opinion, Ramayana cannot be told in just a single movie because the story is so vast and large that it will probably require a TV series with many seasons to completely understand it in detail. However, this movie does a great job in covering all the important parts of this epic tale and summarizes it in a very detailed and interesting way within a runtime of just 2 hours and 11 minutes. I think this deserves a separate appreciation in itself because when you try to condense such a long story into such a short runtime, you usually miss many important points and fail to give justice to the source material. But in this case it is not true. This movie does manage to capture and cover the essence of Ramayana in the best possible way. Once you get to know about Ramayana, I can guarantee you that, you will want to know more and more about it because you will realize that it is just the beginning of your journey into the vast world of Hindu culture and literature. Personally speaking, I was probably 5 or 6 years old when I first saw this movie as a child. Back in the day there was no YouTube or social media, so basically we had to wait for the weekends to see this movie on TV. To me, as a child this movie had the same effect on me as superhero movies of Batman, Spider-Man or Superman. This movie got me interested into the larger-than-life godly characters of Ramayana like Hanumanji, Lord Ram, Sita Mata, Lord Laxman, Sugriv and Bali. I wanted to know these characters more in detail like I wanted to know more about characters like Batman and his villains like the Joker, Harley Quinn, Mr. Freeze, Spider-Man, Green Goblin and so many others. This movie changed my life because it ultimately led me to the great teachings of Hinduism. Once you read more about Hinduism and its teachings, I assure you that your life will never be the same and you will become a more wiser and better human being than ever before. So I would recommend you all to see this movie because if you are fan of Marvel and DC, you will love it very much. So I would advise all my viewer and specially my friends from outside India that you should watch this movie because of two main purposes. Firstly it will offer you the same entertainment as you get when you watch superhero movies that we normally talk about on this channel. But this movie will also go a step further and teach you how to become a more wiser human being. This movie will act like the beginning of your interest into the world of Hindu mythology which will eventually help you change your life for the better. Please share your review in the comment section of this video after you see it. 
This movie is available in English, Hindi and Japanese. If you enjoy watching it, please let me know if you want more contents from Indian mythology and history which are similar to this movie and also some live action projects that might have your interest. Thanks for watching.